Yeah. Jesse from Toy Story, that's a three to four. Jesse from Toy Story is a good one, isn't mm -hmm. it? Since 1989, Jeff Patterson has run a little shop of horrors in Glasgow's East End. This year, his business has got the fright of its life. The adult sales have plummeted because there's no bars, no restaurants open, that type of thing. So I'm relying heavily on the kids' costumes at the moment and there's, there's only so far that can go. As governments tighten restrictions in order to save Christmas, Jeff and retailers like him are getting goosebumps. This is their Christmas, or at least it was meant to be. Well, it's definitely got the potential to ruin me, definitely. But without a doubt, um, I rely so heavily on this one month. It's so important to me. It's, it's essential that I get a good Halloween. Will you be here this time next year, do you think? I would give it 50% chance, yeah. Covid is a nail in the coffin for guising, the message hammered home this weekend by the Deputy First Minister John Swinney. Unfortunately some of the traditional things that we would appreciate as part of Halloween just can't take uh, place just now because door-to-door -door guising would run the risk of spreading the virus with every contact that's made. Escape room company Escape Glasgow are trying to capitalise on Halloween with a demon barber room. They need to make the most of this Halloween. After reopening at the end of the summer, they were told that they were in the same bracket as concert venues and theatres and told to shut again. So trading standards asked us to pause trading for a while, um, but within three weeks we were classed back as visitor attractions alongside things such as the dungeons, which is the correct place for escape rooms to be. After a group has left a room, a thorough cleaning operation begins, with every object being wiped down. Daniel says it's safe, but convincing punters to play this Halloween has been difficult. If you compare year on year, we're trading about 25 to 30 per cent of what we were trading last year. That's incredibly challenging. You find that the school holidays are the times where People take the kids out, but the message at the minute is very much it's not safe to do so. We're going to be going into the Blair Street vaults, which have been described by as possibly one of the most haunted places in Britain. In Edinburgh, tour company Mercus specialise in guided tours of some of the city's spookiest tunnels and vaults. In the age of social distancing, exploring these cramped and confined spaces presents an enormous challenge. Uh, well, it's far, far smaller. So in the past, we had uh, 30 in a group, potentially, uh, with one storyteller. Um, but that's now been reduced to 12. Guidelines change so quickly. Um, uh, when confidence within uh, travellers changes so quickly, having a longer view and a longer plan um, allowing us to plan would be very helpful. The virus has put a stake in the heart of Halloween for larger businesses and for smaller ones like Jeff's. Just like a famous Transylvanian count, it's also proving to be an enormous pain in the neck. Nick Sheridan, Reporting Scotland.